Did Tyson Fury inadvertently admit that Dylan White actually did drop him multiple times in sparring? If you watch this video right here on the Behind the Gloves YouTube channel with Tyson Fury, uh, he has asked about Dylan White's claim that Vladimir Klitschko knocked Deontay Wilder out cold in sparring. Tyson Fury says he knows it to be true because he's heard it from other sources and that Dylan White isn't somebody who lies for no reason. <laughs> so Dylan White, of course, didn't just say that uh, Deontay Wilder was knocked out in sparring by Klitschko. Dylan White said that he dropped Fury in sparring. So inadvertently, is he telling us that Dylan White is actually a truthful kind of guy? I personally think Dylan White is a very truthful guy. I'm not saying he's never told a lie. I'm not saying that everything he's said by way of his boxing career is upfront and honest and genuine. No, I'm not saying that at all. But for the most part, I'd say Dylan White is a straight shooter. I think he's more of a straight shooter than Tyson Fury is, truth be told. So, you know, I personally absolutely believe that Dylan White did drop Tyson Fury multiple times in sparring. Tyson Fury never denied it. And a, a lot of, you know, you can glean a lot from what a person doesn't say as much as what they do say. So when Tyson Fury said he dropped Jarrell Miller in sparring a bunch of times, Miller never flat out denied it. He, he tried to make jokes. Oh, I saw Tyson Fury, you know, have sex with a goat or something. Does it mean it's true? That, that's not denying it. I think Tyson Fury did drop Jarrell Miller. Same with Tyson Fury on the Dylan White thing. He, he never flat out denied that Dylan White dropped him. I think Dylan White did. And as far as the Klitschko Wilder thing, I mean, so many people have said that that happened. I absolutely believe it's true. Now, I've seen some people say that Dylan White shouldn't be revealing what goes on in sparring. That it should be confidential. Well, I'm glad that he is revealing it. When the rumors came out about Anthony Joshua being knocked out in sparring by David Price. You didn't see me complaining. <laughs> when David Price went public with it, I didn't complain. I want to hear as much as possible about what goes on in sparring. I want to be armed with as much information as I can about these fighters. So yeah, all that sparring confidentiality business, I've got no issue if fighters are breaking it. <laughs> I want to hear all the stuff that goes on in the gyms. Because if I'm not there myself, I need to hear from somebody who was. In this, in this particular instance, Dylan White was there when Wilder got put to sleep. And as you see, Tyson Fury ain't denying it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because he's heard it long before Dylan White said it publicly. He's heard it from other people, Andy Lee and others. So, yeah, but, but has he inadvertently admitted in saying that Dylan White, he doesn't know Dylan White to lie about things for no reason... Has he inadvertently admitted that Dylan White did drop him? I would be amazed if that particular claim isn't also true. I think Dylan White did drop him. Again, think about it, people. Think about the psychology. Dylan White has been so keen on fighting Deontay Wilder. Why has he been so keen? When he was offered the Anthony Joshua fight, he turned it down because Joshua knocked him out last time they were in the ring. Yeah, think about the psychology. He's offered all this money, turns it down because he, that guy knocked him out. But he was in the gym with Wilder and he saw Wilder get put to sleep. Dylan White has never forgot about that. <laughs> That's one of the things that gives him so much confidence he could beat Wilder. He's seen Wilder. He, he's seen what can be done to Wilder if you hit him the right way. Same with Tyson Fury. Yeah, all these people saying Dylan White ducked this one and he ducked that one. He never ducked Tyson Fury, did he? He was bang on that Fury fight. Saying, yeah, let's fight for the WBC Diamond Belt. Let's do it. I'll fight Tyson Fury next. Why was he so keen? I'm telling you, he was so keen because he actually did drop Tyson Fury a bunch of times in sparring way back in the days. Now, that doesn't mean he would beat Tyson Fury now. Certainly doesn't mean he would beat Deontay Wilder just because somebody else knocked Wilder out. No, doesn't mean any of that. But you can see the effects of the claims he's making being true. Yeah, you can see in his confidence levels that the stuff he's saying is probably true. 
So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. It's happening about. Join me on Patreon. I upload a minimum of two podcasts every single week, covering a wide variety of controversial topics, as well as live stream Q&A sessions. Take a look on screen right now at some of the podcasts I've produced so far. For just $3 a month, the equivalent of about £2 a month, you get access to all my new podcasts and my entire back catalogue of past podcasts, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen on your computer or on your smartphone or tablet by downloading the Patreon app from the Google Play Store or the App Store for free. The Patreon app also allows you to download each podcast in MP3. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you get access to dozens of hours of exclusive content. It's easy to sign up, there's no contract, and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of free and critical thinkers by signing up with me here on Patreon today.